Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I've been having some technical difficulties. As you can see, my video is not catching up with my mouth. My new laptop look blew up, so I'm actually having to use my old laptop uh, in the meantime. So, uh, you know, this isn't the Joe Rogan experience, so do bear with me. But um, I just wanted to share this video uh, of this dude, the vegetable police he goes by on YouTube. And uh, he had some things to say about my video with Lady Carnivory uh, about the pros and cons of the carnivore diet. Now, I will preface this video by saying that I think this guy is actually pretty funny. <laughs> I, I actually had a good laugh at some of his content. I don't think he's the sharpest tool in the shed, to be honest with you. He seems pretty stupid, but, um, you know, teach their own. I have no problem with vegans. It's just, I mean, some of his comments were were pretty stupid and telling, but I'm just going to share what he said and uh, just give my commentary as we go. Oh, how come nobody told me of this? So I hate YouTubers. They just lie to your face. I found another one, Lady Carnivory. This is a fierce one. Be careful. Don't cross her wrongly. I don't know what happened. She JC's actually like the nicest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're giving her unsolicited advice that she, she didn't respond very well to you. I listened to some video of hers. It was an interview with some creepy carnivore guy. Yeah. So, you know, ever since I did the video with Barquet, uh, I've had a few vegans attack me, I guess, because Bart's so hated in that world. But, um, you know, they typically go after how I look. I mean, typically they'll say like, oh, look at him. On, he's on carnivore and look how sick he looks or whatever. And they attribute it to being on the carnivore diet. Um, if you think that I'm, I'm like skinny or sickly now or whatever, you should have seen me before I was on the carnivore diet when I was actually way sicker. Um, and I'm only doing this diet because I wanted to get better and I have been getting better. And I'm able to be functional now for my kids and go to the park and do things with my kids. So, um, you know, attributing me looking a certain way to the carnivore diet is complete bullshit. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to like, it's not, he didn't hurt my feelings. It's fine. If he thinks whatever, I'm creepy, whatever, that's fine. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a good sport about it, but I don't like everyone attributing, you know, how I look to me being on the carnivore diet. It's complete bullshit. And they're asking, what are the pros and cons of the carnivore diet? And I listened to the interview and all she was saying was like, well, the first two weeks is a bit of a bitch. So the induction phase, so kind of low energy, diarrhea. But once you get past the two weeks, you're pretty much good to go. And her next negative was like, social situations are kind of awkward. You're with your friends at a restaurant, you can only eat meat, you can't even have the oils, like you got to talk to the chef. Yeah, dude, you'd be surprised how much that sucks. It really sucks. A bit of a pain in the ass. I was like, oh, okay. So I check her channel. Her latest video was like, yeah, I need crutches to walk. I, I have the most pain ever. I feel like I'm 95 years old. Where was that in the interview? Well, you're making a lot of assumptions there. So you're conflating um, perhaps a pre-existing condition with carnivore diet. Um, you don't know what test she's done. You don't even know what her diet is exactly. So um, you're just kind of talking out of your ass here. But anyway. What the hell happened? The last thing and the worst part of this whole thing has been in pieces, which is I thought it was joint pain for the longest time, but it's not. It's actually inflammation of the tendons and ligaments. And dude, it's kind of funny because you were saying like, we're trying to like hide things and we're full of shit because we're not revealing all the, all the, you know, downsides of the carnivore diet. Here she is in this video doing exactly that. Like, I think you missed the point of our video. Like <laughs> the, the whole point of our video were the pros and cons and if you actually watch the full video, we'd see that we actually got into more cons than we did pros, um, just because we, you know, JC and I were, were sick of the sort of um, toxic positivity that you might see, which you talk about in your own video. 
um, of people going on the carnivore diet and saying that, you know, cure their illness of after like a week and here's all my affiliate programs and all this bullshit. And we were saying that, you know, it's not that easy. Like there's die off, there's fat adaptation, there's, there could be a huge transition period. Um, and there's a lot of ways you could do the diet wrong. So um, I, and if you look back through my videos, you'll see that I talk about this stuff all the time, that there are many uh, potential downsides to do, doing the diet, especially if you do it wrong. So. Around my joints. So very specifically, in addition to the plantar fasciitis, in my left knee, my left back rib cage, my right shoulder, right hip, and right foot are in so much pain all the time. That's actually why I have now this cane is because it has become so painful just to walk. With my emphasis, um, and the worst part is waking up in the morning when my back is just so stiff. It takes me like 10 minutes to roll over in bed just to get out of bed and then I hobble into the bathroom. It's such a problem. It's like really painful. She clearly has gout like I did on the carnivore diet. And I left a little comment. Just uh, No, she doesn't clearly have gout. Look. It's obvious from, like, I've watched some of your videos. I actually, like I said before, I actually like your content. I think it's actually really funny. You're a funny dude, but you ate way too much protein. I could just tell from what you've said. You ate way, way too much protein. You ate way too often. You had dairy. You ate shit like chicken and stuff like that. And it's no wonder that you maybe had gout or high uric acid. Um, and didn't heal yourself. You should have gone into a therapeutic level of ketosis, stayed on the carnivore diet, okay, made it through the transition. You, you just were doing it wrong, <laughs> you know? And a lot of people do that. They eat way too much protein. They say, why aren't I healing? Well, because you're spiking your glucose constantly. You're eating these inflammatory foods. No wonder why you're not healing. So if you'd maybe done a little bit differently, um, maybe it would have, would have changed things for you. But instead, what you've done is now you've gone all the way over to the other side of the spectrum and you've gone onto a vegan diet and you're still not healing. And you're gonna find out that your problems are just gonna get worse and worse. I don't know, I was maybe a little stabby, you judge it if you want. But I was just like, yeah, you have gout, it's the uric acid, that's what happens on a carnivore diet, happened to me. And she was like, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I was like, who the hell are you? I mean, we've never talked once. What is your problem? <laughs> I get like, you don't want my advice. I'm with you. The entire planet doesn't want my advice. We get it. But still, I have experience with gout, the thing that's killing you right now. And I know how to overcome it. It's called fruits and vegetables, you stupid bitch. No. Yeah, well, she, I think she did try fruits and vegetables for a long time. So have I and so have every other carnivore for that matter. Um, and it didn't work out so well for us with the anti-nutrients and the fiber and all these inflammatory things. So yeah, no, thank you. But, um, and then he goes on further in the video to talk about how we deserve to be sick because we're killing animals. And, you know, he, he goes on his videos about how it's bad for the environment and this say is all these ideological reasons and everything. Um, which he clearly hasn't done any research on. So um, if somebody wants to have a nice, friendly debate about that, I'd be happy to. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. You know, um, anyone's welcome to come on. So vegetable, please do it. If you want to come on, have a good conversation. I'm sure it'd be much funnier than I am. Uh, then feel free to come on and, and let's talk a little bit. But uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that for today. I, I apologize for the crappy audio video quality right now, but that's the way it's gonna be for probably another week or so. But um, yeah, feel free to leave some comments, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.